How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Forza Horizon 5. Manual with clutch within Forza Horizon 5 is one of the many difficulty settings you can turn on to make driving more difficult but also give you more rewards. This video is going to be a tutorial on how to use manual with clutch in Forza Horizon 5. Tips and tricks, how to make it easier and just how to drive manual with clutch in Forza in general. There are many benefits to driving with manual with clutch in Forza Horizon 5. It means you get access to the clutch so you can sort of rev while you're rolling, you can get faster lap times, faster shifts, you can do launch control, advanced launch control, there's lots of different things so if you're trying to get used to manual with clutch and you want to learn it this is the video for you so let's get into it now if you're doing this yourself i would highly recommend getting into a slow-ish car it doesn't have to be dog slow but a slow-ish car where the gears aren't too long so you should be able to get used to it obviously you turn manual with clutch on within these settings here and the way manual with clutch works is basically every time you want to go up a gear you have to let off the throttle hold in the clutch and click up a gear now, the buttons that you need to remember when it comes to using manual with clutch are the following. Obviously, you know about the throttle. You have to let off and on the throttle when you go up and down a gear. However, the button to go up a gear is B, and the button to go down a gear is X. Very simple. However, because it's manual with clutch, you also have to use the clutch as well. And the clutch button is LB, the left bumper. It sounds very intimidating with all these buttons to remember, however there's one thing you can do to make your life a lot easier, and it is the following. Once you've got manual with clutch on, now this is optional, you don't have to do this, but I would highly recommend it. Go to settings, go to your controller mapping in the controls button, so change input, input mapping, set the E brake to LB, and then go all the way down to clutch and set that to A. Now what this will mean, if you look at your controller, A is right next to B and it's right next to X at the same time. So when you're shifting up or down, all you have to do is click A and B or A and X at the same time. It's much easier to do because you can do it with the same thumb, the same finger. Does that make sense? So we're gonna start off with some slow gear changes to start with. Get yourself in a slow car and just start practicing. I would suggest going to a straight road, so we're going to go to the motorway. Um, just to get some practice gear changes in. So as I said, go up the rev range and as soon as you want to change gear, all you have to do is let off the throttle, click A and B at the same time, and then you can get back on the throttle. Doing it this way is very similar to driving just in manual, apart from you have to let off the throttle when you change gear. Let's go for another one. So we're gonna go up the rev range, we're going to let off and click A and B and then go back on the throttle as soon as it's changed gear. It's the same for downshifting. When you're braking, just click A and X. Because you're downshifting and you're presumably braking, you're not on the throttle, so you don't have to worry about the throttle. All you have to do is just click A and X at the same time. A and X, just like that, easy. Now it is important to let off the throttle when you change up and down. Just gonna give you a quick demonstration on what happens if you don't let off the throttle and you just click A and B to go up a gear. As you can see, it sort of red lines and bounces off the limiter. That's because I didn't let off the throttle. This is what it should look like if you do let off the throttle. The gear changes may seem quite slow, however, we haven't got any transmission upgrades in this car and we're just getting used to it, we're not being really quick with it. Obviously, the quicker you get, the quicker you'll be able to snap off the throttle, click A and B and then snap onto the throttle really quickly. You'll be able to get faster and faster over time. Now, everything has to piece together perfectly. You have to let off the throttle or it won't go right. You have to use the clutch or it won't go right and you have to click up a gear or it won't go right. You have to get it all correct for this gear change to work. Just go up and down the motorway in a straight line, not worrying about cornering or braking, just getting used to going up and down the gears, very simple in a slow car. Once you've got used to this, I'd recommend getting, getting a faster car, up, fully upgrade a car and jump into it. I'm gonna use the 2006 RS4. Now this has quicker gear changes, so it will get you a bit more used to it if you jump into a faster car. It's the same basis of it, you just have to get used to it. That is as simple as it is, getting used to it. Now when I was getting used to manual with clutch, and it may be the same for you as well, the thing I struggled with wasn't getting used to manual with clutch, it was getting used to it in races. 
when you're in races and you're doing intense driving, you know, you've got to get your driving lines right, you've got to get your braking right. When you're doing races, that's where manual with a clutch can get difficult when you're learning because there's a lot going on. Now, once you get used to the general usage of manual with clutch, just going up and down in a straight line, there's one thing I would recommend doing. It's strange, but it works. If you have the Rimac, concept 2 this is an electric car yes it's very fast but the interesting thing about this is it has two gears as you can see if i set off in first gear it's just manual with a clutch like normal it's got two gears as you can see but that's all it has so what i would highly recommend doing is once you're used to manual with clutch just a little bit before you start going into races and trying to get the most out of it jump in the rimac and do races in the Rimac. Now, the reason I suggest this is because it only has two gears, so you're not going to be changing gears very often, but you'll still be doing it a little bit. This will ease yourself into getting used to changing gears, manual with clutch, while doing races and you know intense driving. Trust me when I say you will struggle a lot more if you jump straight into a race, manual with clutch, in any other car with six gears, you'll struggle a lot more. If you ease yourself into it with the Rimac that's only got two gears, you won't be having to change gears very often, but you will be having to do it and it will get yourself used to it. Driving manual with clutch may seem hard to start with, but in general, it's really not. It is so incredibly easy once you get used to it and you get all of the benefits, as I said. You can coast along with your clutch held in and just rev the car freely. You can actually max out the car up to a red line rather than in automatic where it short shifts all the time. And you can also do the advanced launch control like I'm doing now. Another thing, if you like car sounds, driving with manual with clutch will also make it more satisfying as well because as I said, one of the benefits is you get to use more of the rev range because you can choose when to change gear. When you're driving on automatic, it will change gear. It will almost short shift. It won't change gear at the max red line. I'm in the 4 GT right now. I'm just gonna give you a quick comparison of what it sounds like when you're changing gear on automatic or with manual with clutch. This is automatic. Obviously, it sounds nice, but if we swap to manual with clutch, this is what you can make it sound like. You can make it sound a bit more aggressive just from the extra rev range that you can get. In my opinion, it sounds a lot nicer, a lot cooler, and even a lot more aggressive with having that extra red line, which you can do when you drive manual with clutch. Now, once you're getting into it and you're getting used to doing races in it, you can start getting into the more extreme cars like the Sesto Elemento Forza Edition, where the gears are quite short and you're really snapping through the gears. It if you really are struggling with getting used to manual with clutch, all you can do is just stick to the slow cars. I mean, yet another slow car here. And let off the throttle, A and B on the throttle. Let off the throttle, A and B on the throttle. It seems like a very slow process, but eventually you will get used to just going off the throttle, A and B, and straight back on it really quickly. Other than what we did at the beginning of the video, which was change the clutch button to the A button, which is a very good helpful method, there's not really anything else you can do to make it any easier other than get used to it. Just drive it casually. Lots of people think that manual with clutch is difficult, there's too much to it. It's not, trust me. All it is, is letting off the throttle and clicking two buttons. You're clicking those two buttons with the same finger, so feels like one button. It's very easy to do and the benefits from it are brilliant. 
if you ever feel like you're doing something wrong and the gear changes don't seem quite to be working, make sure you've changed the settings like I showed you earlier and also get into a different car. You might be in a car with an awkward gearbox or awkward transmission upgrades and it might make it a bit weird. So if it seems like you're struggling, jump into a different car and try a different one. The ultimate goal is to be able to jump in any car with short gears like this one and just hammer through them. Honestly, it will come natural to you and you'll eventually get used to it and it'll be worth your time. Keep an eye out for other videos guys as, as I said, there's stuff like advanced launch control which you will now be able to do and at some point I will have a tutorial on how to do advanced launch control. You need to use manual with clutch with it, so get used to that while you can and prepare for that video at some point as well. If you're having any major issues, let me know in the comment section below and I'll try to help you out. For the time being guys, leave a like if you've enjoyed, subscribe if you haven't already for more Horizon 5 content. I'll see you all later.